for Protestants, what's, what are we missing if we're not teaching our people about how Satan works? We're a missionary country in reverse. The wave of Christianity rolled into this country and established it. We're becoming less Christian and less religious, and the wave of Christianity is rolling back slowly. That's the way our civilization is going. In the history of the church of 2,000 years, you see a flurry of exorcisms when Christianity first entered cultures. We're seeing that flurry come back because the wave is rolling back, and we're choosing to abandon that understanding. We abandon that understanding. We, we fill the void with something. We, our children have an innate need for spiritual experiences. It's built into us as humans. When we don't have it from our institutionalized religion, we're going to seek it out in the occult. We're going to seek it out in ghost hunting. We're going to seek it out in, in Gnosticism. We're going to seek it out in Eastern traditions that we don't understand. The kids are going to find it somehow. They're going to, they're going to look for it. And what they're going to find is, is the devil because he's waiting there to feed them whatever line he wants to feed them. So my advice to you as leaders in the Protestant world is understand, if, remember this, if nothing else, extraordinary demonic problems are first commandment issues. Possessions, oppression, they come from violating the first commandment. You are turning to a spirit other than God for comfort, information, or power. Our children are turning to spirits other than God for comfort about the afterlife, information sometimes, yeah. divination, and power. And when you do that, you invite extraordinary demonic problems. We need to catechize them about the first commandment. We need to relearn about the spiritual world and the rules that it operates in.